Haku, Meng or King Tonga, wrestling legend and regarded as one of the toughest, most dangerous street fighters of all time. My uncle King Tonga, I mean, arguably one of the toughest men. Mm -hmm. That he would literally kill every one of us in the blink of an eye and there wouldn't be nothing we could do about it. If UFC legend Don Fry says this about Tonga, then you know he's the real deal. Tonga, that is a scary human being. When defended himself against drunken troublemakers, Tonga had a brutally devastating style of fighting. Coupled with amazing strength, in self-defense, he's ripped people's ears off, he's bitten off noses, he's pulled eyes out and stamped on the eyes. And in one particular bar fight witnessed by Bobby Heenan, he put his two fingers into man's mouth and ripped the bottom teeth clean out of his mouth. Now the Rock's father is wrestling Hall of Famer Rocky Johnson. And Rocky Johnson had this to say about Tonga. Take 10 guys to beat him, he go to you like a dose of Samson's horse. He pulled his eye out, then he stomped on it. To show you the level of respect that he has, when other wrestlers are asked who would win a no rules fight, anything goes between Haku and the UFC powerhouse Brock Lesnar, every single person gives the same reply. Meng versus Brock Lesnar. Meng. Are you kidding me? I mean, Brock is tough, but Ming is crazy tough. Ming's Brock Lesnar versus Ming in a, in a bar fight. Uh, about 33 seconds. <laughs> Even the fearsome Andre the Giant was apparently scared of Haku. And Ric Flair once said, if Tonga had taken up MMA when he was younger, he would have won everything. He was the toughest man he'd ever met. So just how did Tonga get into all these bar fights? Well, when he was wrestling and they were on tour, the wrestlers would, would often stop off at bars and, and clubs and you'd get a lot of drunken troublemakers would always seem to pick on Tonga for some reason. Even though he's 300 pound, 22 stone, and he looks intimidating, he would always get troublemakers pushing him around, interrupting his dinner, and he would always warn them. He would always warn them, please leave me alone, please let me have my peace. But they would keep pushing him, keep pushing him until it was too late. So he was born in 1959 on the Polynesian island of Tonga and his real name is actually Tonga. The Polynesian culture has not only a history of producing top wrestlers but it also produces some very tough people. This is due to the history of the Polynesians being warriors and navigators. Long dangerous sea journeys and many fierce battles meant that only the strong survived creating a bloodline of strong brave and ferocious fighters. Now Haku or Tonga or Meng is a perfect example of that. But he's also the nicest person you could ever meet. Warm, caring, considerate, friendly, but you just don't want to get on the wrong side of him. Here's Tonga himself being interviewed so you can see his personality coming through, how, how kind he is. What is the strangest rumor you've heard about yourself? Strangest <laughs> They can be true or false. I mean, uh, all of them, but it's uh, all true. You know, I can't even, uh, you know, count my stupidity, <laughs> but that's what it is, and, you know, that's what it was. Now, although he's very kind and caring, if he is provoked and threatened, he would always warn you a few times to leave him alone and let him enjoy his night, but if you pushed it and you started on him, he would fight with brutal efficiency. In many, many, many barroom brawls, a lot of the times he was outnumbered. He always won and always in devastating fashion. Now The Rock is Tonga's nephew and the love and respect between them is, is clear. The toughest, one of the toughest men in the world. So one of the most kind, gentle guys. So after one particular fight, when someone had started on Tonga. My uncle was like, oh no, it's okay. Just leave me alone, please. Finally, uh, the guy pushed my uncle. My uncle gets up, he grabs him by the head and he bites his nose off. <laughs> the police were then called. The police then arrived. The cops come back to find my uncle Tonga still sitting, eating. <laughs> Are you uh, Tonga Fafita? And, oh, yes, yes, I am. Um, did you uh, get an altercation? Yes, I did, yes. Um, and this is, I believe his nose, I think he's at the hospital. Oh, yes, his nose, it's right over there. <laughs> Another legendary fight that happened was when a group of Marines started hassling him in a, in a bar and he dealt with all the Marines. And another time he threw a 300 pound man 
across the room as if it was nothing. So his fighting attributes were he could kick well above his head and for 22 stone he was agile, fit, super strong. His punches were fast, he could chop you, he would hit you in the throat. He, he would actually use the Tongan death grip which he used in the wrestling matches and it would be effective. He was arrested many times for these barroom brawls. Uh, one particular time witnesses saw him being dragged out of the club fighting against eight police officers, two on each arm, two on each leg. He was still fighting and they were still struggling to hold him. And eventually another police officer came up, CS gassed him straight in the face and he breathed the gas in, carried on fighting. And then the officer smashed him straight in the face, full force with a baton. Didn't stop Tonga at all. He carried on fighting. And apparently he had an unbelievable pain threshold. He didn't feel pain like normal people do. Now, as you know, my channel covers a lot of the street fighters and the brawlers and the tough guys. People like Lenny McLean, Malcolm Price, Cliff Fields, Roy Shaw, Alan Crossley, Gary Spears. And I've got to say, I think Tonga would be a formidable opponent for any one of these men. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Tonga. Uh, a lovely, nice, caring man. Uh, the best friend you could ever have. But if you upset him, your worst nightmare. But anyway, thank you for watching everyone. I hope everyone's well. So grateful to everyone for all your support. The channel's going really well at the moment. So thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, please share, please leave a comment and please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It's all free and it really, really helps the channel and it all really means the world to me. And I'm so grateful. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. So thank you all.